Hello, this is Alki Omloot from WPMarketingRobot.com and uh, in this uh, little how-to video I want to show you how to set up a basic a product feed um, and actually I'm going to set this up in uh, the uh, e-commerce version of our plugin and using the Google channel but of course uh, this uh, this can can be any channel um, and uh, also the Google uh, version the Google only version will work similarly except you do not do not need to set up the uh, the channel so let's go so the first step you need to do is to uh, select the channel uh, without the channel you get this notice um, and uh, of course we need to know what channel you want to work with so you pick a channel template and the, the one I choose here is the Google template after selecting it you can create your Google product feed so here we go uh, we just click the button new feed and give it an appropriate name uh, I'm calling it here basic Google feed and I select the merchant center and the country of course and of course with the channel uh, if you have other channels active the list will contain different other channels a default category it's a Google category though so that's uh, it's good to know uh, you can split it out select in the category mapping you select the category or web shop categories you want to include in the feed and you can tweak the get the, the default category or even uh, uh, can give the map to the map the uh, map the default category map the uh, shop category to a different category to for uh, tell Google what the uh, the category is about of course the default category is uh, if you don't change the shop category in the category mapping tool you will have only set the default category to the products to all products okay and we save it so uh, as soon as you save the uh, and generate the feed uh, you have a valid feed except um, and, and this is especially for the for the Google feed of course but uh, there are um, attributes that do not have a value not do not have a source because uh, it's just it depends on your shop and where the sources are located so um, here you see me uh, fill in the brand and the detail which are important for uh, for Google and of course color and size those are important also for uh, in this case uh, the clothing uh, category so just filling in it check all fields if they have the correct value so of course we have then filled in the, uh, the required fields but also the required attributes but there are also optional attributes and you'll find them at the bottom of the feed manager and uh, you can uh, add them or leave them uh, I would advise to add, add as many data as possible uh, if you have good data it will help you, your shop and if you're done you can save and generate the feed again and uh, you 
will see the notice uh, on top of the page uh, that the processing is in the background, uh, the feed is processing in the background. Uh, and um, this is a small feed, of course, then it will notify you that there are 20, in this case, 20 products in the feed. And uh, you can uh, click the view feed uh, button to check if it's correct, check the, if there are errors or whatever, and you're up and running. Uh, after uh, generating, you can uh, find you will find the feed uh, back in the feed list uh, where you can check the URL. The URL will be needed uh, in your Google Merchant Center. Uh, you can check the status. Uh, in this case, it's a manual, uh, so I will put it on auto on. So ready auto means that it is uh, uh, it is generated automatically at the given interval. You also can click the view, uh, view button and well. So thank you for taking the time to learn about our product feed manager plugin and how to set up a basic product feed. If you have any question uh, or encounter any issue, please feel free to reach out by creating a support ticket at wpmarketingrobot.com and I hope you found this video helpful in achieving your goals. And remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative, informative uh, videos. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.